A special edition of Real Orange is next on KOCE, your PBS station. Yes, that's right. We're here at the opening night of the Henry and Renee Sigerstrom Concert Hall in Costa Mesa. The $200 million hall is a major expansion for the Orange County Performing Arts Center, and it's a beauty, too. That's right. It certainly is. The stars of the opening night concert, uh, well, that's going to be the Orange County Pacific Symphony as well as Placido Domingo. So stay with us because we're going to be bringing you all the opening night festivities from the new Renee and Henry Sagerstrom Performing Arts Center, the hall here at the Orange County Performing Arts Center coming up. Real Orange on KOCE is made possible by... From innovations in the air to innovations in the sea from tragic endings to bright new beginnings to entirely new lands. If it happened in Orange County, it happens in the Orange County Register. Take back the morning, every morning. And thanks for joining us once again. I'm Ann Police. And I'm Ed Arnold. And as you can see, we have left the studio. We are here in front of the $200 million Renee and Henry Sagerstrom Concert Hall in the city of Costa Mesa. And we have interviews with all the players who made this happen. And I'll tell you, it's kind of interesting to see what the vision is of this new concert hall. That's right. Tonight's, uh, tonight's uh, opening gala, it really began like decades ago. Back in the 1960s, the Orange County Performing Arts Boosters, they saw a need for a theater complex and decided to do something about it. Yeah, Lance Orozco has a little look back as we take a, a look at the beginnings of the Orange County Performing Arts Center. Before you talk about this, the new Renee and Henry Segerstrom Concert Hall, you need to talk about its parent, the Orange County Performing Arts Center. It was 20 years ago that the complex opened its doors for the very first time. Before the hall was built, Orange County had a difficult time attracting fine arts performers because there wasn't an adequate performance hall. In fact, Zubin Mehta and the Los Angeles Philharmonic used to perform at an Orange County high school because that was the best venue available. We went to the Santa Ana High School Auditorium. That's where these performances were put on. And uh, it, was, uh, it was a beautiful auditorium. Actually, the acoustics were fantastic. But the sales job of getting other visiting artists and uh, 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 symphony orchestras to come to Orange County to a high school auditorium was pretty substantial. In the late 1970s, the Philharmonic Society of Orange County turned to this man, Henry Segerstrom, and his family for help. The Segerstroms are the developers who built South Coast Plaza and a number of other Orange County projects. They not only agreed to donate the land for the complex, they contributed millions towards the project. By 1983, work was underway on what supporters envisioned as a world-class performing arts center. We just fell heir to the happy job of translating their dream into a building. And uh, they, they're good dreamers. They dream big dreams, uh, creative dreams, and it was very challenging and very wonderful to be able to respond to that. Following more than three years of construction, on September 29, 1986, the Orange County Performing Arts Center opened its doors for the very first time. TV show host Stephanie Edwards was on hand to broadcast the event live on KOCE, just as we're doing with the new complex tonight. The Orange County Performing Arts Center helped bring the arts to a whole new level in Orange County. It provided a world-class venue to help attract world-class artists. What this hall did was it put us on the map, and ever since then we've brought the very best orchestras and music that the world has to offer right here. Now, Orange County's performing arts groups will have even more venues to attract the best in performance art. As boosters watched this week, the final cement walkways were poured and the last bricks were laid. The Performing Arts Center's newest addition is just minutes away now from officially opening its doors for the very first time. At what can now be called the first phase of the Orange County Performing Arts Center, Lance Orozco, Real Orange. Kind of interesting because you see where it's been and then you see all the people that are walking down the red carpet right now. It's They've been lined up for about an hour now. Yeah, there's been a, a great deal of planning and construction has been going on now to get this Renee and Henry Sagerson concert hall 
going and it began almost a decade ago. Yeah, here's a timeline to show how the hall got from the drawing board to brick and mortar. Good. And so in 1988, 10 years ago, <clears throat> the then President and Chief Operating Officer Tom Kendrick and I, I was serving as Chairman of the Board and Chief Executive Officer, announced to Orange County that a concert hall would be built. I'm pleased to say that this is the second step. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anyone has a, a full understanding of the appreciation and love for Orange County that Henry has. And he surprised himself as he told me that uh, he would do this, but he just wants this concert hall built, wants it built for Orange County, and decided that somebody had to be the leader and he would once again jump in and take that role. When I look at that, I'm nervous five years before a concert. <laughs> Everyone's life is going to change, not only my life, it, the life of the symphony orchestra, the life of all the guest artists who come to play, and also, and probably most importantly, the life of people in Orange County. Their artistic experiences are going to be so powerful. It's 20 years today uh, since the official groundbreaking of the uh, original uh, Performing Arts Center 20 years ago, J July uh, 7th, uh, 1983. Development and construction are step by step, and you think ahead, and you create and you imagine, um, and when things actually come into physical shape and form, uh, there's a great satisfaction to that. And this this uh, new concert hall is going to be exceptional. It's going to be spectacular. We are about 60% done. The glass is going up. You know, the whole front is a curved a curved wall of glass. The hall literally has the appearance, appearance that it's embracing the audience and you are embracing the orchestra. Not only am I excited, the musicians and Carl St. Clair, Richard Kaufman, our principal pops conductor, they are so looking forward to this great moment after the European tour and all the success that we enjoyed, uh, especially in those pristine acoustic environments, it'll be great to have this as our home for many years to come. I tell you, we were, when we came in, we yeah. had the privilege of walking down the red carpet. It was great. I tell you, what, what's kind of neat is to see all the people, and it's, it's a who's who of Orange County that's in attendance <laughs> here tonight. Absolutely, and who might some of those who's who be? Well, we sent Jennifer, De uh, Jennifer Ballman down to the red carpet to find out for us. Red carpet with the man himself, Henry Sigerstrom, his wife Elizabeth, and of course they donated the land we're standing on, and he's also the seed money for this fantastic concert hall that's opening tonight. And Henry, I have to ask you, sir, how do you feel? Having this finally come off? Well, the seed has grown, hasn't it? And now, now we're ready for the harvest. <laughs> no, it's, it's wonderful. Elizabeth and I were saying this evening how many years we've worked on this together, and it's, it's so nice to be at this evening where it's all come together, and it, it'll be a, it'll be a beautiful, beautiful 
uh, experience for everyone here tonight and for the community that this uh, hall is being dedicated to. You know, just a few hours ago, we were here amidst the dust and the cleanup, and I was wondering if you were having any doubts about this really coming never, on. Never, never have any doubts, you know. At any stage, we're ready to go. <laughs> and I'm sure this is exciting for you as well, because I know this has been your baby. Absolutely, but I also wanted to say, I watched those ta uh, tapes of how the party was 20 years ago, and I think it was incredible that you actually cover it 20 years ago, and we look at that and said, oh my God, I hope it's going to be as good. But I think to the last moment, we work on it, and it's incredibly, incredibly exciting because of the people who are here, and I think the hall is exciting, so I can't wait to actually go and hear the concert tonight, and I'm so thrilled and proud to share it with all of you. Talk a minute about the music. I know you're excited about the hall, but how about Placido Domingo? Yeah. Well, of course, is, is, is a good friend of Elizabeth and mine, and so he agreed a couple of years ago that he would open the hall for us. And I think the fact that William Balkan has written a song for him to sing this evening has really made a big difference for Placido. He loves the song, he's been practicing it, and he likes the hall, so uh, we have a winner. We have a winner. And as my husband said, it's really incredible that we actually have the biggest living composer write a piece of music for the most incredible writer and uh, performer. And uh, we're so thrilled because it, it meant we had to take a risk. But we took it, and it's incredible how excited everyone is and how special I believe this piece is going to be tonight. So it's and really, really And then keep your eyes open after the performance. There's pyrotechnics and a light show, and it's going to be quite an evening. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys, this uh, red carpet experience is just the start of what's going to be incredible. The pyrotechnics will be jumping from building to building, and that'll be quite a way to wrap the night up. That will. Better be. Back to you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Live in Costa Mesa for the gala grand opening of the Renee and Henry Sagerstrom Concert Hall. It's magnificent. You just heard. Uh a couple of the people that have made this thing happen. Uh, we're going to go now back on the red carpet because Maria Hall Brown standing by with some more interviews. Anne and Ed, the night just gets more and more exciting. I am so delighted to be joined by the architect of this magnificent building, Cesar Pelé. Sir, what a magnificent night. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel extremely happy and uh, actually elated. The building looks gorgeous and I think everybody is going to love it. And for what I've been hearing of music last night, this morning, I think the music is going to be fantastic. This is, I said before, this is a Stradivarius of concert halls. This particular building is going to be the home to such beautiful music. Was music the inspiration for your design? The inspiration of our design was a building that would capture the spirit of Orange County who reflected in a piece of art. And it is indeed. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Anne and Ed, what a night. Well. Okay, and we are back here once again. We are in Costa Mesa for the uh, gala grand opening of the Renee and Henry Sagerstrom Concert Hall. Joining us now, the man who has sort of been following this uh, intrepid reporter from Orange County Register. You are the classical music writer, Tim Mangan, joins us. Hi. Hi. We're glad you're here, Tim. Yeah, I'm glad to be here. Yeah, a, a day that uh, has been in the works for a long, long time. I've been looking forward to it for about six years now. I did my first reporting back in 2000, 2001 on this concert hall. What's your impression? Well, I've heard a couple rehearsals in there, and I won't give my critical insights away, but it sounds very, very promising. Tonight is, of course, the big test, and a lot of critics are here tonight to hear what the hall sounds like, and the orchestra, too. Yeah, remember, the Pacific Symphony hasn't been heard around this country the way it will be tonight. It's a very important night for them. Now, uh, the next five weeks are very important for the Hall. It's, uh, it's sort of their, their testing period in right. that they're really showcasing some, some terrific events. Right. Tell us about some of those events. What are some of the real standouts that you're looking forward to? Well, I'm looking forward to this Sunday. The Philharmonic Society is going to have the Mozartium Orchestra of Salzburg here to give us some authentic Mozart, wow. a whole concert of Mozart. And then uh, uh, next week, the Pacific Symphony start, starts their uh, subscription series, and they're going to be playing some Gershwin along with some Russian composers. So that, that should be really fun. Then the big Kirov Festival, of course. The Kirov Orchestra and Opera Company and Ballet Company will be here for 17 days. They're going to be taking over both halls, the old Sigurdstrom Hall and the new hall, and they're going to be doing 
symphonic concerts, operas, the whole ring cycle of Wagner, wow. and they're going to do ballets, Romeo and Juliet and Swan Lake, and we're going to hear some of their young singers in recital. It'll, it's going to be really exciting. This is a great traditional Russian orchestra with a fantastic conductor named Valery Gergiev, one of the greatest in the world. You are going to be one busy person. I'm going to be. I'm going to be out of the house of quite a lot. Now, kind of curious, what what does this new hall mean to to Orange County and our our music world, so to speak? It, it, it's 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 hard to say right now. It depends on how the county takes the mm -hmm. uh, takes this opportunity. If they take it up, it's going to mean a lot because it's a it's designed specifically for symphonic music and you're going to hear symphonic music in this hall differently than you ever have before and and that means that it will mean more it will express more and it will have a greater and more powerful impact on listeners so it just it just is a matter of whether they come or not yeah and what's your prediction i mean is this new hall going to garner long term uh, interest in symphonic music i, I have a feeling that it will i have a feeling feeling that in these first few months you're going to get a lot of new listeners in right. and they're going to have a great time in there and they're going to continue to come back. That's what happened with Disney Hall up in LA which is uh, their version of this right. and, and it really helped the orchestra out there. It changed everything for the LA Philharmonic. Excellent. All right, Tim, thank you so much for joining us. Sure. We'll let you get back to the party All right. and have a good time. All right, thanks. Okay, thanks so thank much. You. Appreciate All right. it. All right. Now, Gala Premier, like the one that we're seeing here tonight at this Renee and Henry Sagerstrom Concert Hall, requires so much preparation. It's true, and just like the orchestra preparing to perform, reporter Jennifer Ballman is here to tell us that there's always some last-minute fine-tuning to do. Just a matter of hours before the grand opening of the Renee and Henry Sigerstrom Concert Hall, and it's time to get things rolling. Last-minute preparations include some sawing, drilling and hammering as crews prepare for the biggest gala ever held for the transformation of the Performing Arts Center into a world-class fine arts facility. A little bit of extra challenge here though. This is a construction site basically. It is, but that's what makes it more interesting and exciting because it's, an, it's a first experience for everybody. Opening night of the Renee and Henry Sigerstrom Concert Hall will include pre-concert refreshments, followed by the Pacific Symphony's Pièce de Résistance, then a fireworks finale. Carl St. Clair will throw the energy of the orchestra and the center across to the new building, and he'll do that as Pyro leaps across to the new building, and then Pyro will break out up there. You'll see projected on the glass wall the orchestra continuing to play, and Pyro surrounding us on all three surfaces as we hear the tremendous stirring finale of Mahler's first symphony. Pacific Symphony music director Carl St. Clair has been practicing amid the construction and cleaning laughing about how he considers the noise music to his ears as the new Rene and Henry Sigerstrom Concert Hall gets the finishing touches before opening night. And I went like that, and I mean, like the guy was watching me just went... <laughs> it was just perfect. I mean, almost wanted to engage him as a member of the orchestra right then and there. As the last-minute cleaning wraps up, the red carpet is ready to be revealed, and it's almost showtime. In Costa Mesa, Jennifer Bowman, Real Orange. I tell you, Carl St. Clair has got to be one of the <laughs> happiest people in the world because it, the acoustics on that place, it's, it's uh, one of the few buildings in the entire world where you can just, no matter what the the, uh, the performance is, it could be guitar, it could be yeah. acoustic, whatever it is, it's it's going to have a great sound. It is, out. yeah. Looking forward to that. Okay, all those last minute details are uh, behind the folks here at the concert hall, and now the focus is on an evening of terrific music. Okay, folks, what we're going to do now, you've been watching the coverage, and what we'd like to do now is head back to the red carpet, because Jennifer Bowman has someone very special for us. Absolutely. Of course, we in Orange County think we have quite a bit of art and people who are very involved in that, so it's so exciting to have a new venue, although we have plenty of venues of, around, as you know, SCR, the big theater, so it, it just adds to our portfolio of the arts here. And how about you personally, what do you think about the new center? I know you haven't gotten a real peek yet, but are you excited? I haven't really gotten a chance to take a look at it, but, um, you know, Renee 
and Henry. We're a great couple. Elizabeth and Henry are a great couple. I'm so proud of Elizabeth to have put the final details on this um, for, for them. And so it's pretty exciting to see uh, the new product, if you will. And in, in a lot of ways, it's great to see for Elizabeth, you know, really sort of a, a coming out for her, if you will. We're pretty excited to have her as part of Orange County. some announcements going on behind us because they say that the opening night concert is about to begin and yes. it's going to be the Orange County Pacific Symphony in Placido Domingo and that's going to take place in, in just a few minutes. And you're watching our live coverage of the opening night of the Renee and Henry Segerstrom Concert Hall. We're going to go back down to the red carpet where Maria Hall Brown is talking to those who are getting ready for a spectacular night of music. Anne and Ed, there are two people joining me right now that have a vested interest and an emotional interest in this wonderful night. John and Sandy Daniels, I know this has been a dream for the two of you for a long time. How are you feeling? I'm a little nervous. There's so many people out here. And you remember 20 years ago when the Performing Arts Center opened, it was like the magic is back again in Orange County. So it's, it's, it's amazing. It's, I feel like it's not lima beans anymore. <laughs> I don't think so, Sam. <laughs> John, what a night. How are you feeling? Well, I'm I'm so happy. We're, we've, we've been working so diligently on bringing the Pacific Symphony along, and so much has happened for the orchestra this year. And uh, I've, I've heard the hall, and I've heard the symphony in the hall, and, and I just, I can't say enough. It's, the, the acoustics are just wonderful. Maybe Russell Johnson's masterpiece. Well, thank you for bringing it to Orange County, both of you. Tonight, a night to celebrate. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Ann and Ed, back to you. Okay. It's kind of interesting when you see the cost. Now, where we're happy to be right now with the Orange County Performing Arts, Arts Center, when it first was built, it was $73.8 million. And now with this new Renee and Henry Sagerstrom Hall, we're talking $200 million. What a difference uh, 20 years makes. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. And once again, we have sent Maria Hall Brown down to the red carpet to bring us more interviews with folks who are going in to enjoy a great evening of music. Down to Maria. Ann and Ed, I'm joined by Terry Dwyer, the president of the Orange County Performing Arts Center. And tonight must mean something pretty special to you and everyone you've spoken to. Uh, all I can say is there's just unbelievable excitement throughout the crowd. It's unbridled optimism about the future of the center, and it's just a great a moment of triumph for the performing arts in Orange County. You're fairly new to the position, a few months right. in, so I would imagine that this sort of makes your job a whole new world. It's a whole new world, but believe me, it's a lot easier now that the building is open. Everybody's been working so hard to get to this point. We're very proud of where we are, and now we're looking forward to living up to the challenge of taking advantage of this great new hall. Well, congratulations, Terry, and I hope this makes you love Orange County even more. It sure does. Happy to be here. Thank you. Ann and Ed, back to you. The funny thing is going to be to, to see how they're going to be able to fill both of these buildings, but I've been told... Well, I don't and, think it'll be a problem. Oh, Terry said it. He no. says, oh, we'll make it happen. Judy Moore will be very busy. Absolutely. Hope so. Oh. Yeah, hope to keep him busy over there. All right. Uh, once again, we've got so many terrific people coming here tonight to uh, enjoy this concert. It's going to be just absolutely spectacular, and uh, believe me, the folks on the red carpet know they're in for a big treat. Jennifer Bauman was uh, down there earlier this evening speaking with some more folks who are going in. Well, as you can imagine, it's been an enormous journey, and it's almost a dream. It really is so, so special and important for us artistically, for community pride, civic creation. It's a wonderful time here in Orange County. Tonight is just the beginning of a journey. Speaking of that journey, does this compete with other centers like Lincoln, Kennedy, and everything we hear of back east? Well, we respect those great institutions. We hope we can be ranked amongst them. And uh, our Pacific Symphony, we hope, certainly will be thought of as, as one of the great new rising orchestras in the United States. Fantastic. And how about you, man? Looking forward to going in tonight? Oh, I'm just excited to be here and to share in the fun. And to look at all the pretty dresses, too. Oh, yes, that's part of the thing here tonight is the fashion. Really? Huh? Yes. Checking out all the hairstyles. We're having a great time. Thank you. We're looking forward to a great night. 
It's going to be interesting to hear how it sounds in there. Again, we heard Tim talk about, he, he didn't want to talk about his feelings on it, but it's uh, it's very impressive. And people that I know that have been in yeah. say they cannot believe the sound really? of that new hall. is magnificent. Oh, it's going to be a treat to go in there and listen to it tonight, as many people have been enjoying it. Uh, again, we've got more uh, red carpet uh, interviews for you right now. We're going to go back to Maria Hall Brown. Ann and Ed, the red carpet is hopping with all kinds of spectacular people, and I am joined by one of them, Dean Corey with the Philharmonic Society. This is such an extraordinary weekend for all of the artistic partners of the Orange County Performing Arts Center. How are you feeling about sun your performance on Sunday night? I'm very excited about it. The orchestra is going to be fabulous in this hall. The acoustics are great, and it's the end of a very big close weekend for everybody. Are you having a big sigh of relief at this point? Uh, not a Sunday night. <laughs> Actually, we have another concert Monday morning, so after that. But anyway, it's very, very exciting. So how do you feel about tonight? Are you just going to relax and enjoy the music? Try to relax. Try to relax uh, because I just try to enjoy what's going on. But I've heard a number of rehearsals in the hall, and I'm really anxious to sit down and hear a performance. Does it sound as good as you hoped it would? Uh, better, I think. A lot better. And we'll get better at it as we learn more about the hall and we can adjust the hall. But it's, uh, it's pretty spectacular. It is indeed for everyone in Orange County. Thanks so much, Dean. Thank you. And Annette, back to you. All right, you've no doubt heard the announcements in the background. The concert is about to begin. Yeah, I've been sitting here listening to this, and we're right by the speaker. <laughs> we're right in front of it. <laughs> right above the red carpet. Yeah, all right. That is it for the special edition of Real Orange. We really appreciate you joining us. Remember, you can see the regular edition of Real Orange weeknights at uh, 6.30 and 11, and once again at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, for you, me, me Maria, all of us. Jennifer, Mike Taylor, <laughs> all of us that are part of the Real Orange News team, Thank you so much for being with us, and we'll be back again with our regular news starting on Monday night. Good night. This edition of Real Orange has been made possible by... From innovations in the air to innovations in the sea. From tragic endings to bright new beginnings to entirely new lands. If it happened in Orange County, it happens in the Orange County Register. Take back the morning, every morning.